Well, tonight the M's are crossed out and the Ohio State Buckeyes are ready for the biggest rivalry game in college football in five days. Just five days. Yeah. We're bringing you team coverage from right here in Columbus and in Michigan ahead of the big game. We're going to start tonight with 10 TV's Lacey Chris with how police are gearing up to keep fans safe in the shoe. Lacey. Well, you'd be hard pressed to find any M's around campus, but what you will see a lot of between now and after the game is a lot of security. These students from Marion Pleasant local schools are ready for Saturday's big rivalry game. So are police chiefs from Columbus Division of Police and OSU. You will see us there visibly. You will see us in the parking lot. You will see us in the stadium. And just know that we are there to help. The game hasn't been played at the shoe since 2018. And OSU police chief Kimberly Spears McNatt says she will be ready and at the game as incident commander, making sure all the action is on the field. We got the best fans in the land and to um, come with that spirit, just plan ahead. Um, please get here early um, so you can get to your seed. She suggests you download Ohio State's app, check out the bag policy and plan where to park. Keeping the scooters from swerving through traffic, trying to get people to get the ride chairs to pick them up on side streets and not main streets and to make sure that people can see the signs that we have out. Columbus Police Commander Christine Nemchev says Columbus Police are concerned about controlling traffic and keeping fans safe after the game. She says they're dealing with staffing challenges by using on-duty bicycle officers instead of special duty. They also ask if you use rideshare, pick a spot off a main road so you aren't blocking traffic. There's going to be over 102,000 people in the stadium, and those people need a place to go after the game. Uh, we hope that they come early and plan to stay late. Whether you cheer from the shoe or at home, the message is the same. Go back! <laughs> yeah, so with all the fans expected to be at the game, the Chiefs' best advice is to show up early and expect to wait in line a lot. Reporting live, Lacey Crisp, 10 TV News. Uh, the excitement building. Lacey, thanks so much. Tonight, mm -hmm. both Ohio State and the other team getting ready to take the field Friday or uh, Saturday. Yeah, our Adam King. Oh, where'd that go? <laughs> Even the pin's excited about this. Adam King heard from I'm throwing us stuff Ryan. at me. I can go. I don't. As long as I didn't hurt you. <laughs> anyway, he heard from Ryan Day about the Buckeyes and how they are gearing up for kickoff with this big game. Yeah, you know, you heard the born on third base comment, a finesse team. The remarks from Michigan seemingly endless following last year's win over the Buckeyes. But in just five days, Ohio State finally gets their chance for revenge. For the first time since the game of the century, Ohio State versus Michigan, the greatest rivalry in all of sports, will feature both undefeated teams, number two versus number three. And while this is a new Buckeye team, a revamped defense and a team focused on toughness and physicality, they aren't forgetting what the Wolverines said last season. We reminded players a lot, you know, and there's a lot of things that, you know, we, we talk to the guys about and, and they get reminded. Um, but this game is certainly about this year. You know, they, they've been reminded in the off season. We show them videos, you know, they, they, they get it. But but it's this, this game is about this year. You know, last year happened, and it certainly was a motivating factor and will continue to be a motivating factor for us up until the end of the game. But that being said, the focus has to be on this year because this is what matters right now. So you just heard from Ryan Day on the game. But what about the man who made the born on third base comments? Well, Dave Holmes is up in Michigan with Jim Harbaugh's presser. Hello from the big house here in Ann Arbor, Michigan. The Wolverines hoping to win a second straight game this year against the Ohio State Buckeyes. Earlier today, we had a chance to hear from their head coach, Jim Harbaugh. Now, last year after the game, Harbaugh made some comments, most notably saying that some people are born on third base and think they hit a triple. Sounds like that was taking a shot at Ryan Day. Today, Harbaugh walked those comments back a little bit, saying that it's irrelevant to the game. In fact, he actually heaped great praise on the Buckeyes, the team he's hoping to beat for a second straight year. Uh, they have a lot of players that are really good. They got great players, we got great players. They have great coaches. We have great coaches. They have players with Heisman habits. We have players with Heisman habits, and congratulations. Um, I'll be grateful for having the opportunity to play in this kind of big game. 
The big story up here, though, is running back Blake Corum. Michigan's best player was injured last week in the win over Illinois. Harbaugh said he had no update today on the status of his back. In Ann Arbor, Michigan, I'm Dave Holmes, 10 TV Sports. All right, Dave, thanks so much. Join us Friday at 7 p.m. ahead of the big game for the Buckeye Blitz. We'll have everything you need to know to get hyped for the big game.